The following presentation was recorded at the Buddhist Society of Victoria, Malvern East, Australia. Please visit our website at bsv.net.au. So, a nice guided loving kindness meditation. Loving kindness is like a fire. Beautiful, warm, healing. But it's starting that fire, you see, the difficulty. So realizing this, I understood that to light a fire you start with a match and paper, something which easily takes the flame. So in this meditation I'm going to start after just calming the body down by choosing a little animal usually. Or it can be a teddy bear, a rabbit or whatever you find it so easy to empathize with and find kindness towards, which doesn't challenge you at all. And from there we move up to real beings and beings who need your kindness and eventually to all beings in this whole planet and the planet itself and also to you. It's a guided loving-kindness meditation. Once the fire is, is really strong, then you can put on the wet sappy locks and they take the flame. And of course, the wettest, sappiest log, your enemy number one, is you. To be able to love yourself is very hard. So anyway, we'll follow this in the instructions. So you close your eyes. And you bring your attention, your awareness, to your body. Making sure that your legs are in a good position. It's only going to be 20, 25 minutes. So you don't have to sit for long. That your butt is comfortable on the chair or the cushion. That your back, I give it a good stretch. All these endorphins get secreted. It's very pleasurable to stretch your body. It also relaxes it. And then relaxing the muscles in my shoulders. Making sure my hands are in a good position. My head is well balanced on my neck. My throat, I can work with you, a little cough. And my face, my face open and at ease, not scrunched up with fear or anticipation or control. Just loose and free. And I see my whole body sitting here. <laughs> I've cared for it, paid attention to it, relaxed it. And I can relax it a little bit more. And when my body is relaxed, and I can look at my peaceometer and quickly just relax my mind. And to realize just how beautiful peace really is. Now I start the loving-kindness meditation. 
I imagine what I call my primary object, which usually is a little kitten. You may substitute that for a little dog, puppy, or a rabbit, or a little plant you're cultivating in your garden, a little baby, something which desperately needs your kindness, your love. My little kitten, I imagine walking, walking in some poor part of the city and hearing this, this moan, this moan of hunger, fear, but not from a human being. And it calls me and I see in his two little eyes Heights of an abandoned kitten, cowering, hiding in a dark corner, hiding in there for safety, but realizing it needs help. And I happen to be passing by, and I can't pass that by. I see its terrified eyes staring at me and I realize whatever this creature is it needs my love and I soon realize it's a little kitten I don't know when it was born abandoned by its mother for some reason reached out many times for help being bitten and scratched and receding into a dark hole where it's afraid, terrified, hungry. And I look into its eyes and speak to that kitten through my eyes. Dear little kitten, allow me to care for you. I'm a Buddhist monk, I won't harm you. I will care for you. I'll make sure you're protected, that you can grow and be fed and looked after. And speak to it through my eyes and realize that cat understands that I'm trying to help, but it still doesn't trust me. It's heard other people say such things and be let down. So I extend my hand slowly and as my hand gets close to that little kitten it draws back deep into the hole but not totally still see its eyes and I draw it out dear little kitten I will never harm or hurt you at all mm -hmm. but all my heart is open to you I'll be your friend, protector, feeder. Little kitten, please allow my, my loving kindness into your heart. And I imagine this little kitten's head coming out from the hole. And the first glimmers of trust. And very softly, I extend my hand far enough to touch that kitten. And I feel its fur. I felt many kittens furs in the past but this one is not clean. It's not like satin. It's just caked with blood. Its bones protruding. That poor little kitten has had such a terrible <laughs> suffering, painful beginning to its life. So I reach out and the little kitten allows me to touch her and to pick her up and to draw her out of her hole. I have to be so soft, so gentle, so patient because I realize just one jerk and that little kitten will lose its trust and run away very gently, 
I pull that kin towards me, always keeping that eye contact. Little kin, let me feed you, care for you, protect you, give you a nice safe place where you can grow. Allow me to look after you. The gift of love, it's not so much a gift as a privilege. We get so much back in return. And I pick up that little kitten, all dirt, scabs, bones. And just my heart melts as I pick it up and bring it to that place in my chest above my heart. And it lets me. It lets me so gently cuddle it, warm it, take away its fear. Little kitten, you have a protector, a carer, someone who will never let you down. And as I cuddle that little kitten, with my warmth, warm its heart, I notice its eyes close. It rests and it purrs, probably for the first time in its life. Somehow is convinced it's safe. And as I give this loving kindness to this little kitten, on my chest area, I notice a tingling. It's a tingling which I associate with loving kindness starting to grow in my own heart. And then, once, once that feeling of tingling is strong enough, I imagine it like a, a golden light, rays of light coming out from my physical heart, going through my chest into that little kitten, warming, feeding, caring for this being who needs my care and love so much in this world, who would die lonely, hungry, in pain, if it wasn't for someone like me caring for it. Dear little kitten, the door of my heart will always be open. You can run away and play, that's what cats do, but you come back and I'll always be there for you. Because I care for you, truly. And once that golden light of loving kindness is strong, I imagine it going into that kitten's body, going to every one of its four little paws, to its tail, into its head and its whiskers and little ears and little nose, just drenching this little kitten with the food of unconditional loving kindness. And I know the cat feels this and rests, knowing that it will be fed and washed and be safe after. And then, it's like switching the image. Then I imagine a friend, someone who's very close to you but is not here, it could be a brother or a sister, a lover, an auntie, an uncle, a child. Wherever they are right now, I imagine them as if they were standing in front of me. They have so many, so much in common with a the little kitten. They need love, forgiveness, care. It's not just with food with respect, kindness, someone who understands them and appreciates them and is there for them. So my best friend in this world, the door of my heart is open to you. I care for you. As you spread this light of loving kindness through your chest into your closest companion in this world, Spreading that warm golden light of loving kindness freely up to their heads, 
down to the fingertips, down their legs, throughout the whole body, up and down, healing them, caring them, even if they're healthy, they still need your kindness. Your best friend, I care for you. And then, without opening your eyes, you imagine all the people in this room, all the people be meditating together for a while. Some of them are your close friends, relations you've known for a long time. Some you may have never seen before, here in this room together. You care for one another. Just like a little kitten, we can always take a bit more loving kindness and care and warmth. So you spread this golden light of loving kindness to everybody in this room. As they spread it to you, as this tingling in your chest like golden rays coming out, bathing every human being in this room. Bathing them, healing them, reassuring them, respecting them, knowing that you're not alone in this world. And realizing that people care for you as they care for me. Sharing this beautiful, reassuring, opening the door for your heart, love. And as you receive it, and it fills your body with this beautiful golden light. So you give it out to everybody in the room. Healing, reassuring, taking away pain and fear, as it took away the pain and the fear of a little homeless kitten. Until that golden light of loving kindness, built up upon, first of all, paper, kindling twigs now can go further as you spread it out to everybody in the neighborhood a golden light which spreads to all the neighbors the birds in the air the animals on the ground or underneath the ground all the human beings each one just going through the suffering of life the disappointments and the sicknesses and the joys as well. May all beings in Morvanese be well and happy. May they receive my kindness, my love, or rather our kindness and love. All the people in hospitals, sick and dying, I give you my energy. Energy which has been strengthened by a day of meditation. I care for you. You may not even know who I am. A bird in the sky. Even a little animal in the ground. As you connect and warm and heal. All these people are usually afraid of one another. This beautiful golden light of loving kindness spreads through this building to the neighborhood. And the more you spread it, the stronger it becomes. So it spreads all through the suburbs of Melbourne. You have relations, friends, associates. May all beings know they're cared for. Know the people you may never suspect give you their energy their warmth, may you be well and happy in whatever way that can be found. May you find real peace, peace in simplicity, peace in just friendship which costs nothing, peace in forgiveness which is your choice, which is spread as loving kindness way beyond the city, the country Victoria, to Canberra, to New South Wales, Queensland, Tassie, over to South Australia and 
Northern Territory in West Australia where many of my monks are. But not just the monks, we're all people, all beings, all animals. I care for you. You spread loving kindness to all beings without distinction, unconditional. And the more you take away the conditions and distinctions, the more powerful that fire of loving kindness becomes. Until it goes over the whole planet Earth. May all beings, animals on the ground, human beings, birds in the sky, fish in the oceans, I care for you all. May all beings be happy and well. It's as if this golden light spreads like a blanket over planet Earth, healing, caring, reassuring, all coming from your ability to care and love and be warm. And then, last but not least, imagine, imagine that you're standing in front of a full-length mirror. You're looking at your, your own self, the person who bears your name. You are no different than any, anyone else. You too, like that little abandoned kitten, need love. Forgiveness, acceptance, respect. So you say to yourself, as if looking in a mirror, may I be free from pain, free from anxiety, free from guilt, free from fear. May I be at ease. My I receive my own compassion and kindness and be at peace with myself, with my past and my future and my present. As you give this gold and light of loving kindness to you, spreading it up and down to the top of your head, lingering a while on your throat if you have a cough, irritation like me. I care for you, throat. Please forgive me for spending too much time talking. You help many people. Thank you, throat. To the rest of your body, to your life, to you, as you give this beautiful loving kindness, which you need as much as the abandoned kitten. You've abandoned yourself too long. You count. You're important too. When we say may all beings be happy and well, you are included. You belong. This beautiful loving kindness goes all around you. Healing, reassuring, taking away your fear. and pause there for a minute or two. And then we imagine that gold and light spread over the whole planet Earth. We draw back that light, leaving the warmth. Draw it back as it recedes from the continents to Australia, as it centers on Melbourne, as it comes into East Morven, into the Buddhist Society of Victoria's hall, into our bodies, into our hearts. It becomes like a golden ball, incandescent ball of loving kindness. And you imagine your heart 
like an open, white, pure lotus. And the lotus flower gently closes over the seed of loving kindness, which is there for you to be used another time, another place. So please keep your eyes closed as I give a final blessing. Nati me savanang anyang Bodho me savanang wavang Ete me satchawa jena So ti te ho tu sabada Nati me savanang anyang Tamo me savanang wavang Ete na satcha wajena Soti te ho tu sabata Nati me savanang anyang Sangho me savanang wavang Ete na satcha wajena so tite ho tu sabada sad 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 there we go